Hello Dappers, we are thrilled to announce the new API-based integration between Dapp and Aweber. If you use Dapp for membership management and Aweber as your email delivery platform, you are going to love this new integration. So what makes this integration better? It's more reliable because it takes your web host out of the equation. The integration is directly between Dapp and Aweber using APIs. You no longer have to rely on your web host to deliver the subscription emails to Aweber. You can also send membership password to Aweber. This way, you don't have to send some emails from DAP and some from Aweber anymore. You can use Aweber not just for autoresponder and broadcast emails, but also for welcome email delivery. Currently, with the email-based subscription, Aweber forces the list to be double opt-in. But the good news is, with this new API integration, you can contact Aweber support and have them disable the forced opt-in for your new list. This way, when the users are added to Aweber, they are automatically subscribed and they don't have to go through the confirmation process to be added to the new list. To use this new integration, you need to be on DAP version 4.8 or above and Live Links version 1.12 or above. Let's take a look at how you can integrate DAP and Aweber in just a few easy steps. Step 1 is to authorize DAP to connect to your Aweber account. To do this, log into your DAP admin dashboard, email, Aweber integration. It will bring up a page like this. All you have to do is click on this link that says Authorize DAP to connect to your Aweber account. When you do this, it will bring up an Aweber page like this. Now enter your Aweber credentials here and click on Allow Access. This will authorize DAP to connect to your Aweber account and to be able to pass subscriber information to Aweber. When you do this, Aweber will generate an authorization key. Just copy that authorization key and enter it here in this text box and click on Save Authorization Key. That's it. This will connect your Aweber account to DAP and this will allow DAP to pass basic subscriber information to Aweber. Step 2 is to integrate the DAP product with your Aweber list. To do that, just go to DAP Products page, Notifications tab, select your product that you want to integrate with the Aweber list and then in the Plugin Notification section, enter the string like this in this format. You just enter the word Aweber first, followed by a colon, colon is the delimiter, and then your Aweber list ID, which you can get from your Aweber account. And if you want to send the password from DAP to Aweber, this way you don't have to set up the welcome email in DAP. You can send all the login credentials directly from your Aweber account. Then all you have to do is say the word send password, and this will allow DAP to automatically send the membership password to Aweber. So this is the format. Just enter a string in this format in the plugin notification upon user add section. When a user is added to this product in DAP, DAP will automatically add the user to this list in Aweber. If a user loses access to a product in DAP, if you want DAP to automatically move the user from that list to another list in Aweber, then all you have to do is enter a string in this format in the plugin notification upon user remove section. Now the format is just the word Aweber first, followed by colon, followed by the word move, followed by another colon, Aweber list from the, the list that the user is currently on, and Aweber list to. This is the new list to which the user will be moved. So that's it. When a user loses access to a product and app, for example, if a user downgrades from a paid product to a free product, then when you enter the string, the user will automatically be moved from this list in Aweber to this list. Just make sure to separate each of these fields with the colon because colon is the delimiter. Please note that this new integration only applies to a DAP to Aweber flow. If the users are being added to a DAP product first and you want DAP to automatically add the user to an Aweber list, then use this new integration. Whether it's a paid product or a free product, DAP will be able to automatically add the user to the list in Aweber that you have configured in the DAP products page. But if you have an Aweber to DAP flow where you are using the Aweber signup form and you want the users to be added to DAP, then do not use this new flow. Continue to use this documentation, you will find it in our documentation page, to integrate an Aweber web form to DAP. Nothing changes there. This new integration is only for DAP to Aweber. That's it. Just a few easy steps to do the integration. This is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.